So yeah, guys, uh, unfortunately, I finished my video without showcasing my team. So real quick before you guys see anything. So this is my team. My Sabo is level 100 boost 2. I actually used 600 shards on the Sabo in total. And 200 of them came for the tournament just to get him to level 100. And he's boost 2. And my Stampede Sabo is level 80. I used 200 shards on him because he was only level 70. After running from 60 to 70, I decided to give him 200 shards. And yeah, 130% boost. Uh, that's my support. I have uh, attackers, straw hat, and new world. Uh, I mean, almost new world. I just need to level up my Sanji. Uh, so yeah, quickly for their medals. So 70% attack plus 290, basically maximum attack, some extra defense. This is the medal I'm using. It's a very nice set in my opinion. So yeah, uh, that's definitely a very good combo for attack. And for him, I'm using uh, Perona and uh, this guy now. Unfortunately, I definitely have full attack. I just didn't work on a Perona medal in a while, so I don't have the last uh, attack trait, but any attack here would have made me have full attack. So yeah, I might just give her a 160 boost and uh, yeah, who knows, but uh, plus 160 flat attack. So yeah, that's my medals and yeah, enjoy the video guys. So. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Adima. Today we're going to be reviewing and then showcasing some gameplay of Stampede Sabo and Stampede Smoker. Now guys, these characters might be coming back tomorrow, or maybe you guys will see it when this event came back. And it might be a total failure of a video because uh, they're new characters. And yeah, I doubt that's going to happen because it's Bandai and they're doubtfully going to release new characters. But if they do, then yeah, that's great. Uh, I think these are going to come back. These characters are going to come back. And in my opinion, you should not summon because these characters, their prime was a long time ago. Their prime is not now and they're definitely not as good. So if they don't get buffs, I don't think you should summon, and I'll explain why. And also, I mean, there are better free-to-play options that you can farm. Here, you'll have to do 250 diamonds for one copy if it's the same banner as when it first came out. So unless there's a buff or new characters, I don't think you should summon for these guys. But let's review them anyways, and maybe your opinion will be changed when you see what they do. So, skill 1 is a terrible skill. <laughs> This skill is just gonna throw out a wall out there, and if you hit them perfectly, that's great, you will get them a flame. But uh, if you don't, there's just a free perfect dodge, you might interrupt the teammate's skill, uh, you can't see what's happening behind the wall. So there are many disadvantages to this skill, and in my opinion, it's not too great. This skill though, it's nice, it's gonna usually one-shot the weaker characters out there. The better characters are not gonna get one-shot, unfortunately, by this. But it can still one-shot a lot of characters and it still has some nice range to it. And if you time it perfectly when they capture a flag or when they're falling off another skill, then it's beautiful. And that's when it's most effective, in my opinion. It's straight. Uh, when a character from your team is killed, boost crit by 300%. Now, this is what makes Stampede Sabo so good. The fact that when you use this... Uh, it will enhance your crit, and when crit occurs, you'll inflict a flame, and when you inflict a flame, uh, you'll increase damage dealt by 20%, so it's very stacked and very continuous. So as soon as a teammate gets KO'd, then you're going to rack up the damage a lot, and you're going to deal a lot of damage. But the thing is, when a teammate doesn't get KO'd, or after those 20 seconds when there's nothing happening, then unfortunately, no crits, no a flame, and no damage. That's his problem. His regular combos, sometimes they hit all 5 hits, and sometimes they don't hit, and it's very weird. And yeah, when they are under an enemy's treasure, the increased damage jump by 30% is very nice. And uh, when using skill 2, reduce the cooldown time of skill 1 by 15%. That's terrible. Because that's like, when using the skill, the good skill that has a longer cooldown, reduce the cooldown of skill 1. It's like, no, that's not how this works. I'm sorry. And yeah. So, Nullify Flame is great. And when receiving damage, 15% chance to reduce damage received by 30%. It's also pretty nice. So, yeah. That's for Stampede. Uh, Sabo. Now, the thing is, if we look at the other red attackers in the game, you know, uh, NL and uh, Bonclay are definitely much worse, but uh, characters like Sanji, if you have him at level 100, is probably gonna do as good. Uh, Cavendish and Luchi, the two new characters, are actually pretty good. You know, he's definitely better than Boa, in my opinion, and he's as good as Gear 4, you know, in my opinion. I like his place more than Gear 4, but, you know, they're about equal. And Kaido is definitely way better, you know, you're not gonna deal damage to Kaido, especially because uh, Kaido, when... Uh, cannot get aflamed when he drinks his things. So when he drinks, you cannot aflame him, you cannot deal damage. So enjoy not dealing damage to Kaido. Also, Shanks, if you don't have your uh, crit, you will literally get out damaged by level 85 Shanks with boost 1. Even though mine is level 100 with boost 2, I got out damage. Even though I have a full metal, full, I have attackers, full attack build. So yeah, uh, let's check out uh, Smoker now. So 
Let's put, just put defenders blue. So in, in defenders blue, you know, you have Crocodile. In my opinion, very safe pick. You know, he's uh, still decent. Kuma's definitely much better. Fujitora's much better. Sabo is also good. Aokiji is also good. Nightmare Luffy is great. So you have so many better options. Even though, in my opinion, he isn't too bad. He isn't great anymore. So yeah, that's unfortunate. But let's see his skills, right? Uh, a mid-range attack with knockback effect. Now this is great because it has two hits into it. So if you do KO like a character like Blackbeard that revives, once the first hit hits, he gets back 15% and then you, you hit him again. So it does count. So it's beautiful like that. But this was the good skill. Uh, you know, they're gonna get stunned uh, and get their speed reduced by 10, for 10 seconds. It's basically Blackbeard skill, but worse. And uh, it's very nice. It used to be, I mean, but it's very easy to dodge it. You know, you can bait it out very easily and, uh, I mean, 30 seconds. So basically the combos use this and then you will use this, right? It's both on 27 seconds about, so 30 seconds each, so it's very nice. Anyways, character traits when receiving damage, 15% chance to reduce damage received by 30. That's definitely much better on him than Sabo because he's more tanky. When they are on your capture treasure, reduce damage received by 30. Again, play on your treasure, that's definitely good. When uh, your strength is more than 80, resist stagger effect. Now this can be good and bad, but, you know, it has some pros and cons so that's obviously nice when your allies are not near the treasure where you're at boost the cooldown reduction speed of skill 2 by 50 percent so you definitely want to play by yourself with this guy because you'll get this in 14 seconds like 13.5 seconds and if you can reduce it even more so it's going to be great so you can use this and spam it in the fight if you're playing alone so definitely play in your treasure area and play by yourself and you're definitely going to be much better with this guy when dealing damage to an enemy inflicted with stun increase damage out by 20 percent so that's why every time you use the skill you want to use the skill so every time you use skill 2, you want to use skill 1 because this skill 1 was going to deal so much more damage if you have the trait uh, 2. So sometimes, guys, there's a combo when you stun them. You know, you might be tempted to take your time. But if they've recently dodged, you actually do not want to take your time because you want both hits to land. Once the first hit lands, if they have their dodge again, they can just dodge away, right? But if you stun them right after they dodge and then use skill one they'll, they can't dodge the second hit so you'll deal so much more damage so keep that in mind guys and yeah so let's get into the game <laughs> all right guys so we're back and uh we're gonna check out this first game now this first game i actually played with the bikini nami as my second character because it was like well i was practicing for the tournament and yeah let's just check uh, i think this is a soon uh, actually no 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 sorry this was right after the tournament i didn't get to practice before the tournament unfortunately so this was right after the tournament the next day the season ended and so i got to basically start in s plus again so uh we get to see what happens so i decided to go flank now with the step beat sabo because um well why not, right? So they have this crocodile now. That's very funny because, yeah, every time you dodge, you see him dodge and he's in a straight line. Just use that skill. So I see that uh, she's there and, yeah, um, use my skill. Try to KO her. Fortunately, it's not looking too great. Uh, but, of course, we're going to out deal the... We're going to deal way more damage than her, but, yeah. Um... Yeah, so we're gonna go chase, you know, Nightmare Luffy is not our priority right now, we want to get the kills. So, as the attacker, so we get the kill on the Reiju, then Stampy, then Luffy, I mean, is also gonna get a lot of damage received. Now, I don't attack because I see the Shanks appear, and definitely do not want to attack when the Shanks has his skill up. It's very easy, you know, these Shanks players are very stupid. I mean, because they're using such an OP character, they don't have to think a lot. So definitely unfortunate for them because it's just very easy to predict when they're going to do. Usually they just kind of wait a while and then dodge and then use their skill because they think you'll attack them. But I mean, I mean, obviously I won't attack you until I see that skill. So uh, kind of the problem with Shanks players. But I mean, sometimes it works out. So I mean, good for them. But yeah, I see that uh, the flags being not like being guarded. So definitely go for it. Uh, then get the kick. It's a very nice kick. This kick deals a lot of damage. I don't know if they buffed it already or if it's on gonna get buffed, but anyways, you use it for the range. Now that Sanji perfectly timed his thing and it's very good on him. So yeah, unfortunately, uh, there's so many enemies right now. <laughs> but yeah, I use my perfect dodge, use that skill, get a KO on Shanks, so fuck that bitch. Uh, here, I see them running towards me, so I'm banking on the perfect dodge, which we do get. Unfortunately, they're not on the flag, but they're on the flag. But yeah, let's try to get KOs. So we're gonna get actually, we're gonna get both of these guys. Yeah, <laughs> like we get this and then we get that's a lot of fucking damage, dude. 
So when 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 you're closer in tsunami, don't think you're safe. If the third hit lands, then you're in big danger. Like the third hit deals so much damage because it's like three balls into it. Like assuming each hits like two thousand five hundred damage. If all three hit, that's seven thousand five hundred. And Sanji's not tanky, so that probably dealt over ten k. Like I didn't check, but yeah. Here I use my skill, but somehow he predicted it. So I mean, good on that Shanks player, honestly. Like you know, I, the King Namis aren't there often, so the fact that he was able to know what I was gonna do is actually pretty impressive. Uh, here I stop uh, this guy's skill, Namir Luffy's skill, and we just ended with a quick KO. And yeah, quick uh, quick game. Unfortunately, we lose. Uh, I died there at the end, so definitely my bad, but yeah, definitely a nice game we had, so yeah, that's that, and we're gonna be back, and actually guys, I forgot I, to change my layout, so next game I'll have a bigger, bigger screen for the gameplay, so yeah. Okay. Alright guys, so we're back, and uh, Stampede uh, Smoker, is this gonna be a more of a Stampede Smoker game now, my Stampede Smoker is only level 80 boost 1, so... Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not, gonna, I'm not gonna deal as much damage as I did with Sabo. Look at that stupid shit, dude. I literally played on the edge because I didn't want to fucking deal with Shanks. And look at that, man. Look at that. He has a dodge. He can shoot you from range. It's just all going so terribly right now. It was such a bad start to the game. Uh, but, you know, we do get to challenge him a bit. See, no flames. So unfortunately, I don't one-shot him, but uh, luckily, he's bad, so we do. I kill him now. Unfortunately, Kaido shows up to ruin my happiness, but you know, we did what we can do and we move on with our day. So, we're gonna swap to Stampede Smoker here. You know, I'm gonna charge the flag real quick. Um, can just skip through. And here, I'm gonna stop the Blackbeard by just pretending. But unfortunately, he dodged a bit too far. You know, that was my bad. I definitely got excited. You know, it's a Blackbeard, so I really wanted to be safe in the matchup, but fortunately, he dodged too far. Um, it was very easy to bait. The dodge for that blackbeard <laughs> so yeah that's a beautiful combo on the zoro get him on the last hit and yeah definitely want to play safe you know i see that kisaru came out of nowhere luckily he got hit by the bird so i can uh, by the bird wow i know my animals guys that's a bird that's definitely a bird so yeah uh capture the flag you know i'm gonna stay on it a bit you know shanks can definitely hit you from his point to where i am so you definitely don't want that just gonna charge it up a bit you know until the bird the bird comes back so i see that they're capturing the flag though so i decide to go instead capture that here i'm gonna go for the meat you know i'm not gonna let shanks heal back and deal more damage it's just not gonna happen here i'm trying to get like all of them uh but the greed ended up uh, not working out because my teammates hit them during the stun so yeah um here i'm gonna take on the black beard you know definitely his combos when they don't have a dodge is actually pretty nice so that's definitely something he has. Like, it's beautiful playing with the smoker. It's so beautiful. Like, his smoke and his dodge is so nice. And his skills are smoky. It's, it's really nice. It's really nice. But yeah, unfortunately, um, the Blackbeard hits us here. But uh, no one's here. So the Blackbeard just moved away. So we can definitely capture the flag. Fill it up a bit. And uh, we clutch at the end. We actually do clutch. I'm going to spoil it real quick. So it seems like all dire, but... The Nightmare Luffy and the Smoker, sorry, and this guy came in clutch. He dodges, so I use my skill. And yeah, he couldn't stop us, and we capture it at the end. So that was very nice, very, very nice. So yeah, that being said, guys, let's check out if I have more games recorded, actually. I probably have one more. All right, guys, so we do have one more game. You know, I had other games recorded, but honestly, I don't want to talk over more gameplay. So I just have this one, so let's see if, uh, if it's a good one. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure um but yeah i i saw that my score was decently high on this one so let's see what we do um yeah unfortunately i haven't had many games so this guy uses his skill to go in faster i don't recommend that unfortunately my skill also failed miserably so that's definitely my bad so i get the fuck away you know worried about his long range skill uh here i use my skill i thought something would happen but i'm so dumb he actually managed to dodge away from it uh I thought he would just be preoccupied with dealing with Shanks. Out of nowhere, a nice Blackbeard appears. Uh, that's my bad for not paying attention to the minimap. But he did get a flame and uh, Kuma showed up to ruin my happiness. So, yeah. A beautiful skill again. Absolutely wasted. You know, there's definitely a problem with this guy and he's auto-targeting. Holy shit, it doesn't auto-target at all. Here we go in for the flag. We're going to capture it so we can just skip that real quick. I see someone's capturing up top, so I'm gonna go, you know, let the Blackbeard deal with whoever's down there. I think it's the Kuma up there, if I remember this game. 
Yep. So yeah, guys, this is how you time the skill perfectly. As soon as they finish capturing it, you hit it, and it actually has like some extra fire, so it's definitely gonna hit all the time. So be safe and use it like that, and it's definitely nice. So yeah, we get the get the kill here. Uh, I'm gonna go for that, but Shanks is going for it, so I just back the fuck away, and he just drops down. And apparently, there's a meat again. But I guess actually he didn't take it because he was at full HP or something. But I don't know. So here I dodge that. Uh, I thought he would use the other skill. So that's actually a nice thing you can use with that wall. You can actually use it to throw out Shanks' skill because he's just going to get healed back, yeah, but he's not going to hit you. So you definitely still have a favorable matchup after that. So unfortunately here, he hits me with that incredible God bless his range. So yeah, uh, here I thought his team boost would go out by now, but it didn't. So luckily we still do get the kill. Can go down just in case. Uh, always make sure in this map if there's a Marco to just make sure that you know where he is so he doesn't just flank and kill you. So let's just skip, see what's happening. Okay, so let's go back. So I see both of them drop down. I'm just waiting here. And yeah, there's no way both of them would dodge. And yeah, I was right. Unfortunately, I'm pretty low. And he got his perfect dodge. So, I mean, they were so fucking low, man. Holy shit. Like, uh, I was hoping that Flame would do something. But, you know, they got him pretty low. And we moved on with our day. So, yeah. Um, at the end, do we get the win? Let's see what happens. So I see this guy's here, so I go down, you know, <laughs> I go down before him as well. Use my skill, you know, he, and then I just wait out the seconds, and yeah. Not, don't wait too long, like I said, you don't want him to have his dodge. And then just come in, fill up the flag, so yeah, 5,000 score is not too bad. Uh, I think I have this game as well, where... Yeah, I just want to show you guys the end here. So, I'm, like, there are these two guys chasing me, man. I've been, like, holding them off for a while. And there's 10 seconds left, and the wall there actually comes in clutch, pulls the white beard down, makes the big mom fire. And yeah, when they kill me, there's only 2 seconds left, so they can't capture the flag. But look how long I've been holding them for, like over 20 seconds. Uh, actually, it's very funny, so yeah. Uh, anyways, that being said, hope you guys enjoyed, and peace.